Soon summertime passed into fall, and fall into winter again. In January, Papa left for his monthly trip to shore. He would bring back food and other important things we needed for our little house. I knew he would be gone for at least three days, so I hugged him tight as he put on his winter coat and mittens. Papa, I said, hurry back. I'm scared that there might be a nor'easter. And then, what would we do? Abby, Papa said in his calm, strong voice, you don't need to be afraid. The house and the towers are strong and have survived many, many storms. But look in my eyes, Abby. If a great nor'easter should come while I am gone, you must keep the lamps in the two towers burning, especially at night, so that the ships will be kept safe from the dangerous rocks. Oh, Papa, I cried. I don't think I can do it. I would be so scared. Abby, it doesn't matter if you are scared. You have to take care of your mother and sister, and you have to keep the lamps lit. Many people are depending on you. Promise me this. If you ever need strength and courage to take care of the lights, just think about the song I always play for you on the fiddle. Shine on me. That song will keep you company and remind you that everything will be okay. Yes, Papa, I said, wiping some tears from my eyes. And I watched him walk out the door and get into his little boat and push off into the dark.
I knew Papa was stuck out in the storm, and even if he wanted to turn back around, the blinding rain and the huge waves would make it impossible for him to successfully tie up to our little God. As the night time approached, I knew that now it was entirely up to me to do the job that had brought our family to the dinner spot years ago, to keep the sailors and their ships Followed deeply, gathered my courage, and prepared to do what Papa had told me I must climb the steep staircase in each tower and light the lights.